Good evening, welcome to my live stream. My name is Mike Del Ferro from Amsterdam. Um, I'm live streaming three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 p.m. Amsterdam Central European time. Uh, playing piano for you on Mondays and Wednesdays and talking about music, sharing music. I also broadcast videos, maybe you've already noticed it. And um, so just, I I just, just, just because I simply love to share good music with you. And um, before I proceed with this wonderful guest, which you see in the other, in, in the other window on Skype, um, if you are watching this on Facebook, uh, please share this uh, live stream because I'm sure you have, enough, you have a lot of friends which are also music fans, so it spreads to a lot of people. And especially with this great guest, I have here an award-winning world-class percussionist and also a great friend and a beautiful human being. Uh, so I'm really ha happy to, to have him on the show here. Uh, let me call it the show. Um, so yeah, please spread. And of course, you can listen to my music on all the digital platforms and subscribe to YouTube channels and all of that. So, and of course, if you have questions for Pernell, <laughs> let me know. I have a chat window here. So whenever you have a question, let me know. Um, so let me quickly before uh, say hi to some people already reacting here. I see Bert, hi Linda, Sebastian from Germany, wonderful drummer and a great friend. He, he was on the show a couple of weeks ago with this beautiful uh, plant uh, um, project that he found a way to to the, the signals which come out from plants. And I'm not, I didn't drink, I didn't, I'm not on drugs, but plants took certain signals, and he translates this into music. Really interesting. And I see friends from South Africa, from Cape Town, Cliff, Wallace, Gregory. So, um, yeah, thanks. So, so uh, a lot of people from all over the world here. Okay, Pernell Saturnino, thank you so much for joining. Welcome, for, for, uh, uh, welcome to, this, to this live stream. How are you? How are, how are Good, things? Thank you for uh, the invitation. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm honored to have... Uh, uh, an amazing artist like you here, so uh, yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. You won the first class pianist. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> yeah. You know, we try to, we, we try to get better all the time. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, well. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, so we actually met on Curacao. Uh, for those of you, you can see here Curacao, you know, because um, for us, b being from the Netherlands, and of course, uh, the people in Suriname and the Dutch Antilles, Curacao is kind of something we grow up with. 
uh, because of our uh, colonial history, which is maybe also a little bit sensitive, or that's this is what it is. And um, but maybe a lot of people don't know about Curacao. And Curacao is uh, uh, um, it, it's still part of the Dutch Antilles officially, right? Or is it? It's in. Yeah, it's still part of the Dutch. It's autonomy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's still, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's Definitely. yeah. So there are there are three islands, which is Aruba, Curaçao, and Bonaire, and they're situated in the Caribbean, actually um, north of the coast with Venezuela, more or less. That's right. What I'm saying, yeah. right? So uh, yeah. so uh, the north, uh, yeah. Cuba and the fascists is also part of it. It's like this. It used to be an Antilles of six islands. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And um, there are two people, um, or oh, there are three people. I see uh, Saturnino Sato. I think that could be a family member. And that's my uncle. That's your uncle. Just, okay. Just, yeah. And then I see uh, Reginald. And Reginald is your cousin who is based here in the Netherlands. And, and he's also, uh, he does, he, he, yeah. He comes frequently to our house because uh, my wife, She's a piano teacher, and he's he's taking his piano lessons. So we were in touch every week, actually, and he watches this live stream all the time. So uh, thank you uh, for being here. And then there is Dean, Dean McCartney, wonderful saxophone player. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We lived in Curaçao for for many years. Now he moved to to Ireland together with yeah. his wife Maruja, who's a fantastic singer, also from oh, yeah. Curaçao. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. You know, uh, <clears throat> also my cousin lives there. And what really amazes me about Curaçao is, despite being at a relatively small island in the Caribbean, there is so much going on there and so much synergy. Uh, every time I go there, I meet new people. I hear so much great music, a lot of influence by, by African rhythms. Can you, maybe, what, can, can you maybe elaborate a little bit on this? Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, as you know, you were, uh, yeah, Curaçao was one of the main slave trade islands from the from Netherlands. So I think that's why we have a lot of African influence. Yeah. Over here. Also, the European influence. Yeah. And um, on, on we have like six very uh, main rhythms, music, who, who got stuck, got stuck in Curaçao. Like, it's like uh, in the European side, we have the walls, like our own version of white walls, um, the uh, mazurka, yeah. and also the danza. And on the African side, we have the, um, the tambu, tumba, and the sehu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah the tambu really fascinates me. I'll, 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 uh, I'll talk about this a little bit. Uh, little more and uh, let's go into this little more but there is a question from my friend Sebastian actually it's a good question do they speak Dutch in Curaçao <laughs> that's uh... do we speak Dutch in Curaçao yeah yes, of yeah yeah but you have your right. own language which I find a lot of yeah. stuff are written in Dutch so <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 I know I know I know I know I know but um, what I've yeah Dutch. yeah but what I find even more interesting I mean Dutch yeah well that's because again of our um, not always fortunate colonial history, but but what I find interest, uh, interesting is your language there, which is called Papiamento. And which, oh yeah, that's yeah. like a African mix with um, just um, Portuguese, Dutch, English. I mean, every every colonist who came to Cruzeiro ever laid a part in the in the Papiamento language. Yeah, 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 yeah. and they brought some some of that. Yeah, yeah, it's fascinating because I kind because I understand Spanish very well, and therefore I can follow the Papiamento pretty well too. You hear a lot of Spanish and Portuguese we're words. Right in the middle of, yeah, of the uh, yeah, of the course. yeah, 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 which is you know also yeah. Venezuela, yeah, yeah, and all the South American over here. I mean, the South the middle of uh, Middle American also speak Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. We got the Puerto Rican, Cuba. I mean, we are surrounded by the Spanish yeah, speaking. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, um, I would I would love to to um, before we go talk about your great career and your international career working with all these 
uh, world-class artists um, and winning Grammys and all of that. Um, I would like to maybe just about your beautiful island where you're from. Um, so, so your grandpa parents, uh, they they were among other people. Uh, they they kind of developed this tambu style, right? The tambu. I, I, and um, can, can you can you uh, tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, um, my grandmother, whose name is uh, Nicolina, was a very good tambu singer. And I have an uncle, we used to be, um, his name is, um, um, uh, oh my God. I'm getting, I'm starting to forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and actually, um, my, my aunt called Anna. Anna and my grand um, uncle used to play and sing background vocal for a very um, well-known um, tambu singer whose name is um, Kola. So they were really into, and, and uh, also one of my, because I have, for instance, on my father's side, this uncle used to be on my father's side. I have also on my mother's side a cousin from my grandmother. We used to call, which was a very good, one of the best um, tambu player here. We used to call him Esta Juju. Esta. Yeah. And um, they all was part of the development of the tambu here in Brazil. Yeah, and can you, can you explain a little bit about the tambu? I, I found this movie, actually there are two movies I found, but one I couldn't, somehow I cannot, I cannot show it, but I'll broadcast it another time. That's like a, a whole uh, documentary about tambu and, and African rhythms in Curacao, which is really interesting, very well done. And I, f I have another, and I found another clip like more like a street video where you see people uh, playing and singing the tambu. And well, because what really fascinates me is with the scissors. I've seen it there. It's very intense. It's very beautiful. Can you maybe uh, explain a little bit more about this tambu, which in my in my perception is something which is so uh, from Curacao. So yeah, so. Tambu actually is a very intense rhythm. I mean, if you listen to it, I mean, normally people used to get scared when they tambu, but it, it sounds like a, a protest, you know, like yeah. a very revolutionary yeah. kind of rhythm. Yeah. And actually, mainly they use they use the tambu here when they want to criticize the government and all the political stuff was going on. Yeah. But the main reason of tambu is because it's at the, at the end of the year. So it, it's like a way to get rid of the old spirit from the previous year and to open up, you know, to, uh, to welcome the good spirit from the next year. Yeah, yeah. So, it's also so that's why yeah, yeah. it's always been played at the end of the year. Yeah. You can see a lot of, it's a sweet, it's a sweet music and rhythm. Yeah. I mean, uh, you can see a lot of uh, sweet, when, when you when you come in Curacao in December, there's a lot of street party going on of tambu. A lot yeah, of yeah, I remember. Yeah, I've, I've been there once in that during that that period of Christmas and New Year, and then, and it also seems just to pop up, to pop up. You know, you see all of a sudden it's, it's just happening, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's beautiful. So um, yeah, okay, I'm going to um, quickly sh uh, show something about the tambu so that. The, the viewers have a little bit more of an idea. So this is uh, a video of uh, like like kind of a homemade video, home video, whatever, uh, of, of the tambu of Curacao.
Yeah, hear an impression of the amazing uh, tradition in Curaçao entitled the Tambu. And I have this amazing human being here in, on the Skype, Pernel Saturnino, who is a world class percussion player for those of you who just uh, tuned in. Grammy Award winner, played with all the world greatest musicians, and I'm talking people like um, uh, Chikoria, Winton Marsalis, you name it. We'll get to, the, to, bit, to this later. Um, before we, we, we continue, uh, Pernell, there are a couple of comments here. Um, very good video quality, knowing that you combine in a stream from the other part of the world. Thank you, yeah, that's, yeah, thank you. It's, um, I, I found a way now how to do this in the right way, using also, also have to give credits to this amazing software I'm using. Um, and then a hey, Sherwin, uh, percussionist, we, we played many years ago, and he is writing something, and I'm pretty sure it's Papi Ements, Chapi Tassona. <laughs> what does it mean? Oh, that's another, that's another um, uh, brother, um, family of mine. Aha. Uh -huh. Sherwin, yeah? Jovanka, actually. Yes. Jovanka. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Same as Jovanka. I didn't yeah. know that they had another family who played percussion that they had. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. nice to play together and have a lot of fun. Cool, cool. Yeah, Jovanka is known here, uh, of course, because of being a vocalist, but also she has become a, a, a TV uh, presenter, TV host, with this very yeah. uh, famous program we had here uh, entitled Vrije Geluiden. It means yeah, literally yeah. free sounds. 
and she presented it for two years. So uh, yeah, she's uh, she's actually you know, great, she's a great singer. singer. Yeah. Amazing songwriter. Yeah. And a human being. So yeah, so she's human. yeah yeah she's yeah. she's very nice, very nice person, and she's she originates from Curacao too. Eh? So yeah, there's so but that's you know there are so many um, like I said before. I've been there a number of times, and I met you there when we played at a at a club, and then we hooked up. But I, I'm I'm so amazed with all the synergy there, and then also, of course, they managed to um, uh, to hold the an equivalent of of the North Sea Jazz Festival every, yeah. every year. I don't know if it's going to happen this year. Probably not, or maybe no. Maybe this year, I mean, practically yeah. everything canceled. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 you know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. So, uh, yeah. Well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm staying positive. I've said it many times in these live streams. I'm, of course, I try not to talk in terms of cancellation, but more in postponing. Oh, actually, yes, postponing. That's postponing. True. You know, let's stay positive because okay. we've been sitting home for for months, uh, for months now. So, yeah. Yeah, so, a, lot, a lot of my uh, yeah traveling is postponed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The end of the year or even next year. Yeah, yeah. Or even the year after. I mean, it's like yeah. same, same here, same here. Yeah, yeah that's where we that's where we are artists are all all grow, going through and yeah. Fortunately, here in the Netherlands, in Europe, things are opening up, but but still, you know, it's going to take it's still. Today, in Brussels, everything is open. Basically. I mean the. Uh, we used to have the um, the lockdown, and then they put the um, the nine o'clock lockdown now to twelve, and now it's curfew. The day yeah. twelve is gone, so you can be on the street until you want. To. Yeah. But they're still thinking. I mean, um, um, you know, this is this new, this is new life. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everything you have to adapt, you know, yeah. the distancing yeah. and all. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Touch your face as yeah. much as you can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. It's, um, yeah. It's, it's, it, it's, yeah. Ah, well. But let's let's continue with with um, because you have got such an amazing story. So you grew up in Curacao, um, heavily uh, from a from a musical family playing percussion, and then in 1988, you went to Boston to study at Berkeley. Yeah. Yeah. And that was yeah. <laughs> And cold. Yeah. But over there, yeah. see, it's like a dream come true. You know? It's like a new world. So many people around, yeah. all musicians, great musicians. Yeah, yeah. You know, the good thing about music is uh, most of the time the musicians don't worry about other things, they just have fun doing the music. Yeah. So they don't have time to fight with each other, they don't have, you know, it's, it's like yeah. all music and all fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I found, I mean, I finally did, I, I found that at Berkeley, yeah. and it was really fun studying over there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I mean, I don't want to go into, to, too much to, to politics and all of that, but it's one thing you know. We've both traveled the world. You, you also must have been to to zillion countries. I've I've played in, to be precise, in 117, 117. You know, and what I everywhere I go and all these amazing cultures I meet, I know one thing that we artists, we musicians, we really unite, just by being ourselves and just love what we're doing and love for other people and sharing music. And that's uh, I think that's. Uh, that's a good thing <laughs> that we're doing this. No, no. Like, one thing that was always amazed when the first time people started hearing about me, how quick the word spread. I mean, that year, was, everybody was calling me up. Like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. So, this, so it's like, it's a small family, and they're all united. So as soon as one finds someone, they spread the news everybody, and all of a sudden, everybody starts calling me. Yeah, yeah. And I found it amazing. Yeah, yeah. The word of mouth, but of course, also, um, you know, let's let's be really honest here, because of your incredible playing and your knowledge, because we've we've played a number of times, so we've traveled a little bit, and I'm always so um, um, uh, not only your musicianship, but also your knowledge about uh, so much music and 
all kinds of music and how, how deeply you go into this. Because, so, so once you went to the United States to study in Berkeley, from there on your career really started, you started to fly because then for instance, just to name, to name a few people, um, uh, David Sanchez, uh, you know, uh, uh, and then, but of course, let's jump right to one of the most incredible musicians, uh, legendary pianist, Chick Corea. So how, how did that come about, your, your collaboration with Chick? Well, well it is, I mean, I it's fun. fun. It started, started a little bit, bit because yeah. we were yeah. together in those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the first two was with a little bit. And yeah. all of a sudden, Patiki called me, and then Wim Marshall called me. Pat Martini called me, but um, then the Patiki called me, and I got myself to do some um, decisions. And um, then um, I remember with the chick, I was in Puerto Rico with Patito in the Jazz Festival in Puerto Rico. And then after the concert in Puerto Rico, in Puerto Rico because the part of the, 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 the concert, uh, festival was dedicated to Chico Reyes, so he was the resident artist, he was there all the time. Right, right. So after the concert, he came to me and he said, man, I have a project. And what, what I just saw today, you were the perfect percussionist for, for that record. Wow. Yeah, great. I was, wow. Yeah. But we, my, my reaction was also to say, okay, let's see if you're going to help. Yeah. yeah. And, um, I was in New York, I remember I was doing a gig with Miguel uh, Zenon, also a very yeah. amazing, yeah. Yeah. amazing saxophonist. And, and I, I got, got an email, email from Paquito, I mean, Paquito forward emailed me. Um, Chick was asking, Paquito, I mean, with all this back, um, uh, uh, it's, it's not, not my intention, intention to take away your questions, <laughs> but I would, I would like to do a project, project with him. him. Yeah. So then, then I called them, and they, they were already recording actually, because, because they were in uh, LA. Do you know, you know the studio Manhattan? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I've not been there, but I'm, I'm aware. Yes. Yeah. yeah so, so they, they were, were doing the um, the to the stars recording, recording with, with the, the, the union, union of the uh, electric band. band. Yeah, yeah. So, so they, they were already recording, recording and he called me. He asked me, "Oh, can, can you come?" Next week, um, to do some of the dubbing, I'm recording, and then I'm always amazed, you know, like a big artist like that, they always have, they keep having the, uh, you know, to be disrespectful. Yes, yes. It's like, I'm, yes. So if you ask me to come, like, but, but I, I, I was so impressed, I was, um, I mean, the next week I went to there. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They were dubbing. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. one of the most luxurious to you have always recording it. Yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I don't know if yeah. you... if you. Yeah. Um, in 2013, to do another recording. Um, the this one was in this house, house in, uh, in Florida. Yeah. The yeah. vigil, the vigil. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're in that album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he actually, Chick was um, live streaming for like a month every day. I don't know if you saw it. I know. I, know. I, 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 I checked check one of the videos. Yeah, day. and you know what I really, um, what's really so great about it is that that I mean, of course, his incredible musicianship, but also, you know, he took like he had like a whole pile of sheet music and he just put it in front of him and started playing and practicing stuff um, stuff he had never um, played in many, many years and all of that. Uh, and, you know, and, and, he, and you know, and even, well, mistake, what's the mistake, you know, we, sorry, we could, but, but the thing was, you know, he showed like, oh, this could be better and, oh, maybe the fingering and really the human thing and such a giving person, very giving person. That's, That's the thing. thing. Most, Most of those guys, guys are like that. You know? yeah. They're very, they're they're very, very honest, honest with the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. Also, when they invite you to play, it's very, everything, everything goes very well. So if you make a mistake, mistake they tell you right away. It's no, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're supposed to, you know, and uh, it's, it's very, very nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. Really, 
yeah, 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 yeah. So just, Still yeah. Don't go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just uh, one small technical <laughs> thing here. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. It's, what, what you're <laughs> saying? You're the same. Ah. You, you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, I. I love music. I love to share my love for music and for life with people. And that, that's what we do, you know. I mean, that has become, I wouldn't say it sounds a bit pretentious like a mission, but that's what I love doing. That makes me happy. If I see people, yes, being, yeah. you know, it, it's, uh, and yeah, it's just, yeah. And I'm grateful for this every day, you know, for know. this life. Make me happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just one, one technical thing, Pernell. I'm, um, Linda, good friend here. She's saying that there is an echo on your side. Are you do are, do you also have your iPhone switched off on, or do you, is something recording? Sometimes when you have two devices switched on, then I can turn it off. Yeah, and then only the because you're you're yeah. Then so please for those of you who are commenting on the echo, please let us know if it's better now. Room. Maybe it's to, maybe it's the room itself. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least this is what we, maybe maybe it helps. So yeah. So um, uh, and then of course uh, Chikoria, you play with Winton Marsalis. Uh, ah, well, you play with, with with so many amazing people, and you're you're also playing in this movie uh, Calle uh, 54, uh, Calle 54, uh, yeah. which is a very famous movie. Yeah, yeah. With you're in there with Paquito. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm still doing stuff with him. He became a really good friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's he's not so young anymore, but he has so much energy. Yeah, he's quite a character too. He's he's quite a character. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've I've experienced them. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's, it's amazing. So, um, uh, what I wanted to ask you again, you know, um, for those of you who maybe tuned in later, this is uh, uh, Pernell Saturnino, world class Gra Grammy Award winner uh, percussionist from Curacao, and went to the States in 1988, and then from then on started playing with all the the greatest musicians on earth. Um, before I'm going to ask you um, uh, to maybe show us some rhythms, because you have got some uh, stuff lined up there, some some instrument. Um, what was the reason you moved back to Curacao? The reason, the reason I moved back, back to Curacao because, because um, I, I saw, saw the honor of a lot of, of uh, musicians that that were playing in Curacao, and and I really wanted to share my experience and knowledge. To, to the test. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And I mean, uh, when, when, when the thing, thing is, is, when you, when people, people know you, 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 you get, get in the network, network. Yeah. it doesn't, doesn't mean where you live. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So I went to Canada, so I still traveling, and I'm yeah. also helping the kids with so Yeah, so. yeah, that's great, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there are daily flights to Miami, so you're... In the you can be there and the, you can travel in to the states like whenever they call you to play in to tour you're, you're there like in a couple of yeah, hours yeah. so it, it always makes sense it's easy to go to Europe it's easy to go yeah it's easy to go around the world yeah yeah oh, there's yeah, also yeah. Uh, I know there's a direct flight to Colombia and that takes you all over South America yeah, so yeah. it's a very good connection yeah that's great yeah yeah it's again you know it's a, you know it's such a small island in the middle of the caribbean and so much going on so much great music so much original music and uh, it's it's really a fascinating place so um yeah, yeah. um i know you would you you were you were so kind to maybe show us some some rhythms and again going back to the tambu maybe to start with or unless you have something else you know it's all you you decide um, okay, but, okay. But this tambu thing with the scissors, that's really what fascinates me so much. Maybe you can show, yes, yes, show yes, us yes, some yes, things. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. That's, 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 that's a tool that came from the instrument. instrument. <laughs> you, know? you know? Ah, and it's then, a, oh, okay. It's like a, 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 like a, sh a shovel. It's a hole. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean if you if go back to the instrument, they, 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 they took off all the instruments from the 
And then, and then they, start, they start, started using the tools, tools to make, make music. music so. yeah. This is this one, one of them. them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And uh, it can, can be really loud. loud. Yeah. So, yeah. The bamboo, you, you got, got the open part, part and the closed part. part. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same as um, South Side or any, any other. other. It's, it's a very African thing. thing. So you got, got the verse, verse and the chorus, right? Right. Yeah. 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 The verse is like this. It's like the clock Wow, that's great. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's very, very amazing, amazing when you see like, like five, five people, people playing that together. Yeah. It it sound like yeah. 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 Yeah, that's a, that's a pity. I, I cannot show this video, but I'll, I'll broadcast it because, yeah, it's it's yeah, yeah. This is six. It's six eight, right? It's it is six, six, eight, six eight, eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Two more. I mean. Yeah. 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 The six eight is two four or cut time. Yeah. Yeah. And then dance also. Yeah. 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 And the walls is three four. Yeah. Not, not the, the, um, the mazurka, mazurka is also yeah, yeah, and that's is the mazurka. Is that the same as the Antillian waltz? Is that the same, or is that different? Because I'm, uh, it's, 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 it's three, three four, four, but the guy got a different accent. Okay, and, and it's also it's different. different. Yeah, actually, actually the mazurka is very funny because, because now we basically with, with the project, project with, with some, some people, people from, from Poland. Poland who came, came in here, here and then they, they made the document. The document will be out very, very soon. soon. Because, because Chopin, Chopin was, was the inventor, inventor, not the inventor, 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 the one who developed the, 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 uh, the Mazurka. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so the, the Poland find out, they first saw the Mazurka still exists, but it was basically gone in Poland. It's amazing. And they came here to investigate. And we basically did a documentary about the Mazurka. Wow! And are they going to bring you to Poland too to to show those rhythms over there? Because it's very yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, postponed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, postponed. Yeah, yeah, post Poland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll, uh, oh, that's oh, that's that's so interesting. Wow. Yeah, it, it's incredible. Eh? How the, uh, speaking about synergy again with Curacao, There's always something there. Which which fascinates me. Um, before before uh, when we started when we hooked up before we, we went live, you also had these scissors. Scissors. You kind of had a, or, or, or is this the same thing you were showing me before? There was a kind of a. Ah uh, yeah yeah no no no, no, no. Uh, then I'm I was confused. But what yeah what what, what is this? Yeah, this, this is also, also a very, very traditional instrument. It's a part of the DVD. Which, Which is like, like a, 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 um, a rasp, rasp what, what, um, but, but, but from, from metal. metal. So they play in the walls, in the mazurka, in the dancer, and basically they have no rhythm. The only rhythm they don't play is this tambo. Ah, they don't, they don't, okay. Yeah. <laughs> because they have the, 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 the whole so. Yeah. This is just going to be effective. Yeah, yeah. They play yeah. the tumba, they play the dancers, they play the seu, they play the um, in the walls, and also the zuzuka. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just it's just it's just I mean, I mean, yeah. Uh, Venezuela is not also very similar, but the the one from Venezuela is very round. Yeah. They play the light light and the flowing music in Venezuela. But this, this one, this, this version, version, you can, can find, find only in Curacao uh, and Aruba, actually. Ah, yeah, 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 beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, thanks for for explaining. So again, um, for those of you who are watching, you should really check out um, Pernell. If you, if you search him on YouTube, you'll see him associated with like all these world-class artists. Again, Wynton Marsalis, I'm talking about Chikoria, 
um, uh, Antonio Hart, Didi Bridgewater. Uh, you also did a project with the, 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 the famous big band the, from, from Cologne, the, the VDR. Of course, she, oh, yeah, 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 with the New York, New York voices. voices, yeah, yeah, with my yeah. 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 and yeah, uh, and yeah, 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 Oh yeah, the end there, yeah, in the northern, Ger yeah, 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 yeah. Those were the main <laughs> German. Oh, from Holland. Yeah, yeah. Also, from Holland. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah a lot of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in January, yeah, in January, we had lunch, and then you were here with the Metropole Orchestra with Roberto Fonseca from Cuba. Yeah. And they flew you yeah. in to to play percussion on that project, these like New Year's concerts. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you're traveling, and yeah. So. That was a really nice. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so again, you know, for those of you who are watching, this is uh, my great friend, an amazing human being, um, Pernell Satunino, world class percussionist, Grammy Award winner. And um, I don't know if there are any questions, but or if you want to say something yourself. And otherwise, I would like to. Uh, to show a video where you're performing in trio with Paquito de Riviera. I think it's a really okay. nice video I found. And uh, already, I'll bring you in, 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 in the, uh, into the, the stream afterwards, but I already want to thank you for, uh, for participating, sharing your great knowledge. And uh, yeah, and I hope we can, yeah. we will be, we'll be able to play again together soon. <laughs> where, wherever in the world we, we played in Colombia also, I remember, a couple of years ago, this beautiful <laughs> festival. Yeah. And, uh, sure that was nice. Yeah, in Suriname, that's where we, yeah, and then we even went to, on a jungle trip because gigs got canceled and we went, you know, know. swimming, swimming uh, in, in the, the <laughs> river and then it turned out they were full of piranhas. So we were lucky there. Hmm? Yeah. All right, so let no, me... I, let <laughs> what, I mean, the guys who went with... They gave me some confidence because they said, no, I mean, the happy lions would eat meat and the happy lions would eat vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> where we're going to go now is where the lions is vegetable. So, okay. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm happy that we're, we're not piranhas who eat musicians. So, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> we did something. Yeah. Let me show you this video of uh, you playing with Paquito Di Riviera. Okay, uh, that, yeah. this, that's a trio, but that's a concert with WDR. Ah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was a concert with, the recording is Big Band Time with Paquito de Rivera. Is this, uh, but I think this is, a, okay, okay, but this is like a trio. Uh, I think yeah, we play a trio, but oh, it's, yeah, it's okay. part Oh, it was part of, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You, 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 you dropped out for a sec. Sometimes, you know, when you talk at the same time and with this distance... I know. Yeah, uh, but I th I'm still always surprised how well it goes given the distance and the uh, and internet and all of that. Okay, so I'm gonna show this movie.
En Pajita y Luz Videra. Ya. Yeah. Ah, ya. Yeah. Fue Punda. Ya, ya, ya. Ok. So you, you, you watched Paquito de Riviera um, trio with Great Pernell, who was my guest tonight. Um, Pernell, uh, before, before we say goodbye, again, to those of you who are watching, if you're on Facebook, please share this, also this live stream, because this, this was a really nice interview. He said so many beautiful, interesting things, playing music for you. So please share this to your friends and spread oh. this... Uh, I, I noticed that some of them is watching live now because they saw some yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the nice yeah. thing also is, you know, th these live streams, both on YouTube and Facebook, they stay there so people can watch afterwards, yeah. which is yeah. especially handy with time difference because I've got, uh, well, I think you too, quite some following in Asia, but of course people are sleeping there, but then they watch it the next morning. So, uh, so yeah. it, it spreads and it's really nice. Yeah, so Pernell... Dear Pernell, thank you so much for uh, for being here on the on the on the live stream and spending time with, with us. I hope we uh, will be able to play again soon together. Me too. Yeah, it'll happen. Uh, it'll happen. It'll happen. Hopefully sooner yeah. than we think. And uh, for those of you who are watching, thanks again for tuning in. I'll be back on Monday, Monday 10 p.m. Amsterdam Central European time. And then I'll be playing keys for you, piano and. Uh, uh, show videos, talk about music. Let me know if you have any requests. So again, <coughs> thanks, <coughs> thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for lis listening. Love you all. Have a great weekend, and hopefully, see you on Monday. Goodbye. Bye bye. What? <laughs>